Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to bury a banana in an egg in a compost hole to feed your tomato plants. It's the fall, so we're going to do this now. Let these break down in a hole and we're going to do it again come spring. This is actually going to be a four-part video. About three or four years ago, I did a video on burying an egg and banana in a hole, and I only did part one. And a lot of people have been asking me, where's part two? Well, part two never happened because a hurricane came up the coast and the winds were strong enough that it snapped the uh, tomato plant on the right and I just never was able to do a second video because one of the tomatoes were killed off. I'm going to recreate that um, experiment, but I'm going to put two tomatoes in here that are each going to get a banana and an egg and in another part of the garden I'm going to do one without so that you can see how the nutrients from an egg and banana buried in a hole takes care of a tomato plant. Now why does this work? This works because it's basically an organic fertilizer. Uh, bananas and uh, the banana skin, the banana itself have um, potassium, phosphorus, sulfur, calcium, magnesium in there. Plus it's got, you know, different things in there to feed the soil life, to feed the worms. The egg has calcium, nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium, um, zinc, copper, and other vitamins. So you're basically just feeding this organic fertilizer. When you go to the organic fertilizers and you read what's inside there, there's all kinds of different things. Blood meal, bone meal, feather meal, um, even eggshell sometimes. If you go to and um, pick up uh, just a straight bag of blood meal, that is... Uh, the blood from pigs, from slaughterhouse pigs, freeze-dried and used to just put in your garden and bring nitrogen. Bone meal is steamed, crushed cattle bone usually. Um, it's pulverized and you just put it into your garden as an organic, you know, supplement. You're doing the same exact thing with eggs and bananas, but it's a lot less expensive and I'll tell you why. Simply put, you're just paying less per pound for the eggs and the bananas. Go and buy bananas when they're rotting in stores. Sometimes you can get them for free. Sometimes you can get them for, you know, 20 cents a pound. Get expired eggs. Neighbors that have expired eggs, if your eggs expire, freeze them, save them. Um, go to grocery stores. You can get them for free. If you were to pulverize these down, freeze dry them, you're going to end up with something that looks just like this. It's just going to be a granular, organic fertilizer. Really no different. So, let's get into the hole here. We want to go down 15 inches so when you bury this stuff, it's not going to, uh, the odor is not going to come through and you're not going to attract animals to your garden. Look at science behind this. This is basically organic fertilizer or compost. You would throw, not yet, but it would be. You would throw these spent eggshells, banana peels on a compost pile. It would begin to break down. Worms would eat it. You would put castings, they would put castings out. And you end up with compost. When you get organic fertilizers, just like the one I was showing you in the videos, this is stuff that could really go on a compost pile and just be left to rot and decay, and then you have compost. But we put it into our garden. It needs months to break down. We're going to put this into our garden. It needs months to break down. Nothing really different. Consider this an organic fertilizer precursor to compost. In the hole, you want to go down 14 to 16 inches deep. You want to get this down at the bottom Worms will actually go down six feet deep, um, so don't worry about it. Worms will get to this. Soil biology will get to this. Roots will get to this. So in each hole, I'm going to put a banana that's split open. This will just allow more surface area to have this break down a little bit more quickly. A broken egg. If you just have eggshells, you could just use eggshells and then a whole egg in each hole. And if you want, you could put another banana in there. This one I won't cut. This is 14 inches deep. Bury it. Mark it so I know where to plant the tomatoes next year. And again, we're in the fall, so this is going to sit in here October, November, December, January, February, March, mid-April, six and a half months before I get the tomatoes in. So this is going to break down nicely. Now, this is going to be a four-part video. The first one was done several years ago. This is the second part. Come spring, 
we're going to put another banana and egg in the hole when we plant the tomato. So I'll show you that process. And then we'll take a look at how the tomato is grown. No fertilizer of any kind is going in here except what you just saw. And it was free. Get bananas that are rotting from your store or really inexpensive compared to your organic fertilizers. If you can make compost, make all you can, but a lot of people can't. But you can go and get rotting bananas, expired eggs, and use them just like this, and it's a perfect way to organically feed your tomato plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. This idea is not that old. It's been used for thousands, and, I mean, it's not that new. It's been used for thousands and thousands and thousands a year. Bury a fish, bury eggs, bury matter, vegetable, animal into the garden. It decays, it dies, and the plants use it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks.